Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Throwback Thursday, the grand finale. We are on our final episode here on Hagenstadt or Hagenstarara. We are ending where we began, which is on our two fields that we were given at the beginning of the game and getting these things harvested. We, I think we harvested it. Maybe if I remember correctly, we harvested them originally and planted and now we're back to harvesting. But we're going to get through this tonight and then uh, we're going to call it good for Hagenstedt. And next week we are going to begin something new. We're going to try and I'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But it's a little bittersweet for me on this one. I uh, I feel like I feel like I kind of did when we left um, fa the old family farm. Um, the old family farm is is just a classic, and um, and this for me is also a classic map. I spent a lot of time on this map, and I'll always love this map. It's kind of like you know how when you. Um, when you smell something or taste something and it reminds you of, you know, grandma's house and grandma's cooking, or maybe when you hear something and it reminds you of prison, it's kind of like that. It's like I see Hagenstead and it just reminds me of the good old days, the original, dare I say, simpler days of a farming simulator when there wasn't there weren't really, uh, there were animals, but there really wasn't much to do for them. And equipment was much more limited. Uh, graphics were uh, a lot more, um, I don't know what's a good term, a little bit more, a little bit more prehistoric graphics. Things were just different, but they were so much fun and it was so... You know, you know, sometimes you, you, you want to get that feeling back, that original excitement feeling. It's like when I first started doing photography, I just immediately fell in love with it. And this was before the days of digital, when your, your standard was 35 millimeter. And, and if you really wanted to get into it, maybe you got, you know, maybe you, I don't know, maybe, maybe you got a, I don't know, what would be a medium format or something like that, right? And it was just, yeah, it was, I remember my first time in the dark room and seeing and, and developing a picture I took and seeing it for the first time. And, it, and I know it may sound super dorky, but it was just amazing from start to finish. You take a picture, you compose it, you do all this stuff, and then you have to get the film out of the camera without wrecking it. So you're in a dark room and you're fidgeting around with one of those canisters where you gotta roll the film up in the canister so you can fill it with, I, I, I forget what all of the stuff is. It's been so long since I've done it. I think there was like some stop, some kind of stop stuff or things that developer maybe that kept the film from so you could take it out of the canister and you could expose it to some light so that it wouldn't destroy your images you have to be careful because a, just the smallest bit of lint you know and, and then you had an enlarger and I was super into um, um, photography equipment I got into you know I bought this old um, I, boy, I forget how old it was. It was some old antique and larger. It was massive, weighed a ton, but it did the job. It kind of reminded me of what, like, oh, um, Ansel Adams would, <laughs> would would have started with. And, yeah, it was amazing. And I'm rambling, but I got to tell you, I do remember, and I, I, I will never forget, as dorky as it sounds, how completely taken I was with this game. I would have gladly lost my job to be able to stay home and play this game had I had just a little less sense in me. If my parents wouldn't have smacked me around enough to know that you have to pay the bills, so you've got to go to work. 
I would say that's how close I was to devoting myself to this thing. And my kids are lucky <laughs> that they were even born. <laughs> that I had any interest in family or, or a wife or whatever. This game was was wholly and completely it had me. And this was the map. This was it. This was my first farming simulator. It was my first. So, yeah. I know. Get over it, Brad. It's just a game. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, it's just amazing. But we have good things planned, I think. Good things to come in the future. I want to keep things a little fresh on the channel. I don't want to get stagnant. Um... I want to pay attention to when the combine fills up. That might also be a little helpful. Um, so let me talk to you briefly about what I'm thinking for us um, for for next here. So we got a couple choices for Throwback Thursday. Um, the first choice, obviously, would be to just go to another continue what we're doing go to get go to another throwback map and let's let's keep on our merry way and i'm more than happy to do that uh i've got a couple maps that i'm super interested in getting back into and maybe we will do that i think we probably will do that but there's something i want to try i've been wanting to try it for a while um and uh, this is just having this channel and having you all along for the ride has encouraged me to, to just do it. Um, there are a lot of maps. I was looking at, in fact, uh, what was it uh, that just came out? Alma, Missouri. Or as my mom would say, Alma, Alma Missouri just came out today. I'm recording this Wednesday night. Um, it just came out today. That looks like a really sweet map. Probably one of the better maps, I dare say, that have been come out for a while. Looks quite amazing. If you like, you know, depends on what kind of style you like. But that map looks like super terrific, terrific happy hour kind of... What was that from? The super terrific happy hour. Anyways, that map looks amazing. I want to get that, get going on that map. But there's also like 20 other maps that I really want to look at. So here's what I'm thinking for us. And hopefully you all will agree and enjoy it. We can even make a series out of it eventually. But for the time being, well, I guess it is going to be kind of a series. It's going to be our Thursday series. I want to do a different map each Thursday. Maybe at most the same map two weeks in a row it just depends on how big of a job we decide to tackle on these maps I got the idea and I think I've talked about this before on the channel where I've kind of got the idea from something I saw uh, on YouTube actually and I guess it's a real life scenario where there are companies that are just contract companies and they're, they're farmers for hire and they travel and they go from state to state city to city um, they may even go I think some of them uh, just travel from east to west coast or north to south and they just take on jobs as they go and uh, that's all they do is they contract out to large farms I would assume large farms and tackle jobs and move on and that's kind of what I'm thinking we're gonna do we're gonna do a traveling contractor series and it's going to accomplish that one thing that I want to do, and that is I want to get, I want to experience more maps and farming simulator. I don't, with the time that, um, believe it or not, with the time, and it's, and trust me, I'm not complaining in any way, shape, or form. I absolutely enjoy myself. But with the time that I spend uh, playing on, for this channel and what editing I do do and things and I said do do um, I, I when I play farm sim it's usually going to be to post on the channel which doesn't leave me a lot of time to just 
play farm sim on my own for farting around. I guess I could, but I want to have you guys along. And so I want to just kind of do it with all of you joining me. And we're gonna we're just gonna start going down the list of maps that have been released uh, in the Giants Mod Hub. We're gonna stick with maps that are in the Giants Mod Hub. Um, I'm not gonna, at least for the time being, I'm not gonna grab any maps uh, outside of that. Uh, so they'll probably and most likely all be cross-platform. So regardless of whether you're PC or console, these maps should be available for everyone. And we're just gonna hop on a map. We're gonna pick a contract. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a contract. Um, I, we can create our own contracts. Thank goodness for tools like easy dev controls and things. We can create our own contracts, do what fields we want to do, what crops we feel like doing. We're gonna be hired hands, and we're gonna go in, knock out the project, whatever it might be, and we'll move on to the next city, state, maybe even next country, you know? And just enjoy looking at the variety that's out there, because I am never going to have enough time outside of the channel to experience, you know, all of these maps. There's so many of them now. I was looking at them tonight, and there are so many of them, and so many good ones. And um, I think about what to do on this channel, and I want to do another hinterland style. I want to do another map where a wilderness style, where we go through that whole experience again of creating our own fields. But then I also want to do, um, I want to do another small town farm map, you know, where it's where the, we're the little guys and we're just getting little equipment and we start off small. I want to do, um, you know, a big animal husbandry series. I want to do all of these things and we are going to be full, full, full. And we will get to them eventually. But there's just way, way, way too many maps out there. We're never going to get to them all. But I think if we just kind of do our traveling routine, I think we'll have some fun. And we can experience uh, these maps. However briefly we will experience them. We can at least get a little bit, hopefully, enough of a feel uh, for these. Oopsie. Uh, that's just a combine there, Brad. Don't mind that. <laughs> Don't mind hitting the combine. Oh, and by the way, thanks for uh, emptying the trailer. So, yeah. Um, I hope you all will enjoy it. We're going to go for it. And um, we'll see how it goes. If, if, uh, if it doesn't work out. You know what? We'll just, uh, we'll move on. We'll grab another, we'll grab another throwback map and, and go for it. Or if we, if we find, if we land on a map that just seems like home, we can stay. You know, nobody says we can't just say, you know what? I want to give up this contractor life and I want to put roots down and we're going to stay. So it's all up to us on what we want to do and how we want to do it. And that's the cool part about this game. Or one of the cool things about this game is you can play it a million different ways and none of them are wrong. It's just how you like to play it. And that's that's a huge draw, in my opinion, uh, with Farming Simulator. You don't want to dump grain from the side of the cart. Dump it from the back or the grain door. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. You want to play cheaty and huge and use 50 meter wide headers? Go for it. You want to use, you know, uh, fast farming? Go for it. You want to play ultra super realistic? Go for it. You know. And that's why I, I don't pay any attention to the nonsense I see sometimes out there. For the most part, farming simulator forums are, are really... Good. But once in a while, 
you gotta you find somebody who's got to ruin it and they've got to let everybody know that the way they play is the only way to play and I just ignore it I just ignore it you know like I'll see people ask questions like hey um, in fact a perfect example somebody asked hey how do I fast farm I don't understand how I can and um, how I can fast farm what is this thing and how do I how do I do it and sure enough in the peanut gallery you know somebody had to give their two cents worth they didn't answer the question mind you they didn't tell the uh, the OP how to do it but they sure took enough time and effort to let the OP know that it was stupid it was unrealistic they shouldn't be doing it and um, and if you're gonna play the game you know if you're gonna play the game you should be just playing it right the right way yeah fortunately the rest of the folk in the forum weren't that way and helped the person out And that's generally what I see with Farming Simulator. It's, I, it's nice that more common are, are the nice people. It just, you know, it just doesn't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, it could be an age thing. Why are you, uh, why are you doing that? I didn't, oh, because I'm full. All right, I'll see you, buddy. Yeah, it could be an age thing or whatever, but for me, it's just such a waste of time and effort to, to, to act that way. You're just, you're not proving anything. You're not, you're, you're not showing, you know, you're not showing your, your intelligence or, I don't know, you know, it's just, it's, be nice. It's so simple. And it's, and I, and I tell my kids this all the time. Being nice and kind is so much easier. It's so much easier than being mean and rude. It's, I don't know, I don't get it. It's like somebody, I think I read somewhere, I either read it or somebody told me that it had something to do with the muscles in your face and how much more muscles it took for you to frown then a smile. Now this could be a complete wives' tale. I have no idea. I've never looked it up. You know, I guess you could Google face muscles or whatever. But anyways, that's what I was told. That it's that it's it takes a lot less physical and actual muscular energy to smile than frown. And I'm a firm believer, and will never be convinced otherwise that smiling and laughter is one of the most healthiest things you can do in your life is smile and laugh smile laugh at yourself don't be so uptight that you can't laugh at yourself enjoy it you know enjoy enjoy things to me, I have learned, I think, over the years that if I'm, first of all, if you're nice to people, there's a really good chance they're going to be nice to you. And I think we all prefer having people be nice to us, I would think, for the most part. I'm getting preachy. I don't mean to. My apologies. It's just... I think life is too short for us to for us to uh, for us to be jerks, you know. But if you do find that jerk, you know what? Treat them extra nice. That'll make them even more mad. <laughs> treat them extra nice. Treat them with extra kindness. It sounds cliche, but it is in a. It's one of the most effective tools I have learned in my life to ward off people that are just naturally negative. Um, is treat them with kindness, respect and dignity. And they're either going to stay away altogether 
or they're going to respond much more positively to you. And quite frankly, I'll take either one of those when it comes to some of the more uptight individuals. So, yeah. That's why I always say at the end, or try to always say at the end, take care of yourselves, but most, more importantly, take care of everybody around you. Because it's just, it just pays off in spades. You know those stinking, um, oh, what do they call them? The pyramid scheme deals, you know? Where, you know, the more money I can get you, or the more things I can get you to sell, the more money I make. Well, probably the only legitimate pyramid scheme that I would ever get involved in myself is the kindness one because um, that one pays off for real. You know, it pays off for real. And it's not always, it's not always easy. Not always. But it gets easier. It's like anything you practice, it gets easier. All right, I'm done with that. You guys could probably uh, either stop watching or turn the volume off. <laughs> I don't blame you. When, I, when people get preachy, I know. But I think that subject needs... I, I firmly believe that is a subject that needs to be taught more and more in the world we live in today less me and a lot more you and i think we could oh man so many things would improve that me thing has got to go away anyways i've enjoyed hagenstedt i hope you've enjoyed hagenstedt um i'll always enjoy hagenstedt it's just like i said it's 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 my first and your first is always special right it's always special can't recreate it i guess you know we could go back and and you know maybe we'll try that too i was i was actually thinking about if that would be any fun um i've got farming simulators i think i've got all of them um except maybe the first one but i've basically got them all on steam and <clears throat> it might be kind of fun to go back and crank up 2013 and check it out for a little bit I I always think it's going to be more fun than it is I'll be honest with you about that it's like I did do that when I, when I thought about this throwback Thursday series I actually even before I did Hagenstedt I launched 2013 so I could see some of the original equipment and stuff and at first I was like oh this would be kind of fun you know maybe go back and play old school but as much as it might be, once you have a taste for the, uh, once you have a taste for the for this new version, for the for the up to date version, it's kind of hard to go back. It really is. I've done that before. I've I've um, I've played video games where it's like I'm playing the second one or the third version of it. And I love it, and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna go back. I did that with, uh, shoot, I forget what the name of it was, but I've done it a couple times, and it's never as good as you think it's gonna be because either, either so many improvements have been made that it's frustrating. You're trying to do things that you can't do anymore because you're playing the old version, or the graphics aren't as good, or whatever, so. I think Daggerwind has done some of that. I think he played some, if I remember correctly, I think he went back and played some nostalgic, uh, some of the old school farm sim stuff, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it reminds me kind of um I've seen that before, not that, but um something similar to that like at a 
uh, I forget, it's like, I don't know where we were at, but there was this huge, we were someplace, I forget, it was like a roadside diner or something that had just the front end of a Cadillac sticking out the front of the restaurant, um, stuff like that, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but it's all good. I noticed today when I launched Steam, there was an update, <laughs> there was an update for Farming Simulator 2013. What in the name of all things holy <laughs> would Giants be updating? I've noticed 2015 has had, now these are small, these aren't like, you know, big updates, these are like kilobytes. So I don't know if that's like a Steam thing that's that has to that's doing that, or if it's Giants that's actually pushing those little up, updates out. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at my second monitor. Thank you very much. Yeah, second monitor. Right on. I know, not as exciting as I as I'm making it sound. And by the way, I don't know if it was TBG or U10 Man, but <laughs> you kind of. You gave me such a good idea, and I honestly would have not thought of this. I probably shouldn't admit it, but I got this second monitor going, and one of somebody said, "Hey, now you can put your stopwatch or your your alarm on the second monitor, so you don't have to use your phone as a timer for your episodes." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, that's freaking brilliant!" And that's what I do. I have a, I have my little, I don't know, Microsoft clock app sitting up here on my second monitor and it's on a stopwatch. Right now it's not moving. I'm not really sure what it's doing. I had launched the stinking clock app and, oh, there it goes again. And it stopped and it said, Microsoft has to update your clock app. Please be patient. I'm like, are you, are you serious? For real? Wow. But it's nice. I don't have to worry about my phone little stopwatch anymore. I can actually have it nice and El Grande right here. Alright, so let's wrap this up. Um, I don't even think we used all of the equipment that we, that we bought, did we? I don't think we did. I think we used all of the tractors. Our, our, um... Our little guy, oh man, I totally forgot to feed the chickens the whole time too. I am so sorry, chickens. Yeah, we didn't use the Kramer very much if we did at all. Chickens, I am so sorry. I totally forgot I <laughs> totally forgot to feed you guys like for months on end. Here, let me the least we can and the food is sitting. Oh, that's mean. That is so mean to have the food right there. And they're just looking at it going, dude, do chickens eat grass? Would they, I guess they would eat worms, right? If they could find some, um, there you go. Fend for yourselves. Oh, I'm kidding. I'll pour it out. Where do I pour it out right here? Okay. I am so sorry, chickens. I am so sorry. I totally forgot to do that. I've neglected you so bad and you've still given me eggs. Thank you. We never used our uh, sugar beet or potato storage. Kind of bummed about that. Actually, you know, what? I want to check something out. Let's let's just take a couple minutes, if y'all don't mind. We'll do a little cheaty cheaty. So, for any of you that you know are triggered by quote unquote cheating in the game, you might just want to turn away. But we are going. We won't. We won't benefit from this if that helps at all. We're just gonna cheat for aesthetic sake. So let's just go ahead and fill up our little trailer here with some potatoes. Just want to check out and see how this storage. If it it must work exactly the same as I'm used to. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume. Assume if I can talk. Um, we have right dump. I don't know if I have to pull in more. Oh, no. You're happy with that? Thank you very much. 
We should see some taters on the ground. Oh, look, there they are. They're just kind of spreading. Kind of like the black oil on X-Files. I've been watching the mythology series of the X-Files. I did a little Google foo and looked up all of the mythology episodes and um, I started watching just those. And I'll tell you, man, I mean, X-Files, and, and for some things, it may not hold up as well now as it did. I mean, let's face it, it's been 20, over 20 years since that show came on. And um, I believe that's right. I think it was 98 or something like that, wasn't it? And, um, but still, the, the, um, come on. Oh, do you have to finish here first? Go ahead and finish. Let's switch to the lefty. But yeah, that show holds up in a lot of ways. And uh, that was a show that I didn't watch when it first came on. In fact, I think I started watching it maybe like second season or third season. So I had a lot of catching up to do. But once I started, it was all she wrote. And I loved the... I went back and I watched the newer ones. You know how they came back and had a couple seasons um, much later. I forget what the dates were on those. If it was like 2015 or 17 or something, I forget. But um, those are those are really good too. Those are a lot of fun. The Funny X Files are really funny. Um, I think both Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny. I think they can both do comedy as well as their typical Mulder and Scully. I think they can do comedy super well. I think in particular Mulder, I think David Duchovny in comedy is, I think he's pretty, pretty darn good. We should, unless I'm too close, which maybe I am, or do I need to hit the R button? These used to, I thought, auto unload. Oh, okay, cool. So they changed it so you can stop and start the unloading. That's cool. I like that. It's nice to see. Can we keep potatoes and sugar beets in our silo as well? Or are we stuck to keeping them just there? Uh, I would say we are stuck to keep them just there. Whoopsie. Anything else we need to see before we call it good? I wanted to check that out. Sorry, chickens. I Man, I feel horrible. Completely forgot to feed them. Just, that's so my bad. I think that's about it. There's probably some other things, but uh, I think we can wrap this up and call it good. I'm glad we had a chance to revisit Hagenstedt. Uh, thank you all for... Uh, sticking with me and allowing me to uh, enjoy this map. Uh, I appreciate it. I know that uh, for some of you it may not be your favorite, but I do appreciate your patience and uh, willingness to let me do some reminiscing, shall we say, um, of old school farm sim. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back in tranquil waters to continue our journey there. And then for now, I would say let's plan on next Thursday starting our new Traveling Contractor series. And uh, let's see how that goes. Let's have some fun with that. Hopefully it'll work out okay. If it doesn't, like I said, we'll just pick another map and, and um, we'll go back to what we're doing. So it's worth a shot, I think. But thanks everyone so much once again for joining me. I really appreciate you checking out the channel. Helping me out when I need help. Making me laugh when I need to laugh. You all are awesome. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you tomorrow on Tranquil Waters. Bye for now.